I'm back. This episode is brought to you by Perrier. Uh, hey everyone. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm back finally. Um, which means I'm no longer um, bedridden or on crutches. I'm actually walking around. Um, I should have checked, but I know it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been I think two weeks since I last did a video. Um, feels like I'm going in for confession. Uh, it's been two weeks since my last confession. Um, I really gotta find a way to stop this monitor from shaking. Maybe if I stop shaking the table. Um, yeah. So, where are we um, with everything? Um, obviously, I haven't lost uh, 200 pounds in the uh, in the few weeks. Thor, stop. Um. Yeah, so obviously I haven't lost a ton of weight um, since I last made a video. Uh, but there's been a bit of progress. Um, tough as it has been. Uh, so let's let's kind of recap, go back and over everything that's uh, kind of gone on. Um, I was thinking that yesterday, um, back when I thought, well, back at basically the beginning of March... I was like, I'm looking forward to the month of March. You know, I'm going to get this foot thing under control and March is going to be a good month. It's April 3rd today. There you go. Uh, yeah, so March was a wash. Um, it's been six or seven weeks since I was able to go to the gym, which is fantastic. Um, if, if, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which my Instagram handle is right here. Um... You'll know that I've made some posts in the last little bit about how, you know, I just, I, I do, I do miss, I do miss the gym. Um, I had a, I used to have a severe, really severe, I'd say, uh, drinking problem when I was younger. Um, I, I don't know if I was quite alcoholic levels, but I definitely had a severe dependency and addiction to alcohol, um, which, you know, I, I don't drink, I haven't drank this year since January 4th. So it's been almost three months since I last had any alcohol. Um, and I don't miss it, not craving it. So uh, my point of all that is that um, I, I, I've had a number of vices over the years. Um, that smoking, smoking since I was like 18 or 19 or something. Um, but uh, I don't do either of them. And I don't miss them. But what I do miss... Is working out at the gym. I miss it a lot. Um, but I had to wait till my body was ready to uh, to allow me to do it again. And um, I'm finally, 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 finally there. Um, which the plan is tomorrow to start back. Which I double check, double check my calendar. But I'm pretty sure it's been six or seven weeks since I last worked out. And that sucks. Um, uh, in the meantime, what's been going on? Um, so I kind of fell off the keto wagon a little bit um, during my injury. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's as simple as that. It, I, I kind of fell off because I wasn't really able, I wasn't able to, to take care of myself. Um, and I can't expect my wife to, um, to, you know, to, to create the meals that I needed, um, especially since she works, um, and she works very long hours, so I can't expect her to come home and make, um, make very uh, specific things for me and stuff, so we kind of just had to do what we could do, she was, you know, she works long days, She's taking care of me as best she can, plus our dogs and, you know, um, it is what it is. So, uh, and not that, not that um, you know, things went drastically horrible or anything, but uh, just the whole keto thing kind of fell off for, for the last month. Um, I still try to eat very sensibly. Um, I know some people may disagree with this, but um, I will say that... Uh, you know, uh, probably ate a, a lot of Subway in the last month. Um, people are going to have their opinions whether or not that's a good thing. Um, but I will look back to when I was 
in about 2008, I believe, um, when I, when I, the first time I lost a bunch of weight, um, I, I lived off of, I lived off of, uh, Subway and pasta, um, and I lost a ton of weight while working out. I mean, that's back before I really knew what was going on, what I was doing, but, <coughs> um, sorry. It's a lot of vegetables and stuff, so, you know, it's good. It was good. Um, so, they're, they're just, let's put it this way. There hasn't been, like, a massive weight difference, but there there has been a bit of change. Um, but today, if again, if you follow me on Instagram, you see that today I was back out. I uh, went grocery shopping, and I got all my ingredients. Um, I don't even know where my phone is, because I was going to show. Oh, haha, <laughs> it is in my pocket. Yeah. So... I, this morning, found an app that I believe is going to revolutionize, well, it already has, um, how I go about eating. This app is called Eat This Much. I'm going to take a look at it right here. Um, if it wants to focus. Focus. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I turned off the autofocus. So it's called Eat This Bunch. Um, this thing is amazing because I think one of the biggest problems I had um, prior to my uh, my injury with keto is that every day seemed like an, a guessing game about um, you know what I was going to eat and then figuring out, okay, well, this is what I ate this morning. These were where my macros were at. What do I have left for the day? What am I going to eat now? Um, this thing, this app is fantastic. It, it, it's just going to simplify everything. Um, first off, you fill in all your information that you need. You set up all your macros the way that you want it to be. Um, you can actually use it for other diets too. So for people who aren't wanting to do keto, but want to do uh, paleo or vegan or whatever it is, you, this this app works for all different all different types of diets. Um, all different types of eating. You just put in the information that you want. Um, but you, so I plug in my macros that I need to be at. Um, and I tell it all the things that I can eat, can eat, won't eat. Um, and it then builds, uh, week by week, um, a, a, a meal plan. And it, so right now, um, I got approval from my doctor, uh, last time I saw him, which about two weeks ago. Um, to go on calorie restriction for about a month or two. Um, so I'm going to go drop down about 1,200 calories a day uh, for the next month or two. I just I really need to shed um, some weight uh, just for a number of reasons, obviously. Um, so, yeah, so this, I, I plug in my macros and I plug in my calorie restrictions. So it, it, it takes into account how many calories a day that I am saying that I'm going to eat. And it also based on the number of macros or the, yeah, based on the macro numbers. Um, and you can also tell how many meals a day you're going to eat, whether it's going to be five or three or two, whatever it is. So I'm going by three meals a day. Um, and then it, it takes that information and it takes in the information of what you can eat, can eat, and it builds a meal plan. And it then also smartly, uh, you can, you can tell to do this, whether or not, if you want to or not, but it also will take in consideration meals that create leftovers. So let's say, let's say a recipe ends up creating a couple servings. Well, then you can have that move into being used as a leftover either for breakfast or lunch or dinner the next day. That way, you're 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 being more efficient with your groceries as well. So you're not spending a, a bunch of money on making this one dish, and then you get a bunch of leftover things that aren't being used for anything else. Um, so like today I went and bought my groceries for, uh, for most of the next two weeks. Um, I will have to get some more eggs and some more chicken. Um, but I believe everything else, maybe some more spinach and stuff like that. Um, but everything else is, uh, is, is bought for. And I even splurged and, uh, got some of the Perrier, um, which I've missed. Um, and it was 90 bucks. 90 bucks to feed a 340 pound man for two weeks is friggin' insane. Um, being as a going to Subway is 10 bucks a sub. So 
you know. Um, and, and I'm getting three meals out of that. So Subway is one meal, maybe two, depending on how you split it up. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this app. Um, as you can tell from a number of my videos, I like the technology. <laughs> um, apps, I, I find, are they, they just help with a lot of things. So that that app is is going to help me a lot. Um, I am looking forward to, to continue to work with it, um, and I'm looking forward to the meals that it's um, it's uh, got laid out and planned. The other thing too is like if you don't like a meal that it's that it's suggested. Um, you can you can quickly adjust that and it'll give you different options um, and it still fits all within the proper numbers um, yeah so that's good so let's go back to um, like I said so like where we've been so over the month of March um, you know I had a number of issues with uh, well not a number of issues I had the major issue with my foot so having problems walking so what ended up happening is that I had I had initially kind of screwed up my foot with some I believe some canned tomatoes because um, it it affected my gout which was then I was prescribed gout or I was diagnosed prescribed <laughs> I was diagnosed with gout finally um, but I wasn't diagnosed with gout until after my doctor had given me a medication. Um, a, a diuretic uh, water pill um, to help drop some weight. Cause we're like, the main thing is, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. We're trying to get my blood pressure under control so I can eventually get off blood pressure medication. Um, that's the overall thing. And that's partly why I'm going to go on calorie restriction so I can get the, get my weight down and um, get my blood pressure in a better place. It's not terrible right now. It's, it's all right, but uh, it could be a lot better. Um, so that, that set me off in a bad place. Um, took a bunch of medications to to kind of get those things under control. But with taking the diuretic, I got down to 344, like I say. Um, I think that was a couple, of video, a couple of videos ago where I said, you know, I was down to 344 and 300 was really close and uh, I was looking forward to it. Mar March was going to be a good month. Um, and, well... You know, we are where we are now. Uh, what ended up happening after I stopped taking the the water pill is that within two days, um, I jumped up 12 pounds. So I went back up to 356 just in retained water in two days. Um, so that sucked. I was deflating. Um, I was, I, I've been... There's been a number of you guys that have uh, kept in touch with me in my in my silence um, over the last couple of weeks and checking in on me and you know kicking me in the butt and be like hey you know need an update what's going on we need to get a video and um, there's been some things going on in my uh, well in my my business life that needed to get taken care of uh, the last week or so um, that's taken up a lot of my time um, so I'm finally able to get refocused um but all that being said uh, uh i was talking to my buddy jd about uh, my, about uh the weight and he was like holy shit you put on 12 pounds of water in two days that's insane i was like yeah and then you know of course i got I got kind of defeated about that and he was just like yeah it's just another step back it's a you know it, last month was tough because i was getting really depressed just not being able to move and not seeing the sunlight and you know there was a week where it was really nice weather but i was stuck in a basement um i didn't see sun for 12 days or some shit so you know it was all this stuff and then of course i go and put on all this extra weight um and it was really frustrating but um again i haven't done any measurements in quite some time Simply because, especially since it's not working out, it's really like I've probably lost muscle mass and I really don't want to see that. I, in fact, I, I know I've lost muscle because my legs are weak as shit right now. Um, I spent the last couple of days moving a lot of things from my office. And my legs and feet are, are having a hard time uh, recovering from it. Um, but, you know, what I'm getting at, I know I've rambled quite a bit here, is uh, I, I am down to 348. 
and that's not with a diuretic. That's just um, that's just weight loss. So 348 is where I'm at today. Um, so that's nice. That means that means I'm down 31 pounds, an actual 31 pounds. It's not just uh, not uh, fake water weight loss. It's uh, so I'm happy with that. That's that's good. Um, by going on this calorie restriction, I'll be honest, I'd, I've spent a number of nights um, in the last month sitting down watching my 600 pound life um, and I've had some emotional moments watching that show. Um, there's some people that I really connect with and I get proud of seeing what they do because they get so committed to it and you can tell that they're 100% focused Um and then there's the people I see who are so self-destructive and I get angry and pissed off. And, and I think a lot of that is because I recognize that trait in myself. Um, maybe not so much now. Like I feel like I finally over, I've overcome the, the self-destruction because like I was, this is, uh, I was talking to my buddy JD about this before, you know, if, if I had had this setback even not even a year ago, probably even six months ago, um, I would probably be drinking pop, drinking beer, eating pizza, all that stuff. I I'd probably would have just said, ah, screw it, whatever, and fallen, fallen back into that, that mindset. The worst things I've got in the last month, they like say is Subway and maybe I've drank a little too much Diet Coke. That's it. Um, I, you know, I'm still... Ah, maybe I've had, maybe I've had a few too many uh, cheeseburgers too. But, um, like I haven't gone off the rails. I haven't binged. I'm not eating. You know, still not doing chips and, um, I no, I had pizza. Like you know, the the normal things that I would fall into. Uh, just not happening. Um. So I'm in in a way I'm kind of proud of myself, but again, I, going back to my 600 pound life, um, like I said there's some people I've watched who just completely self destructive like this one woman who she was supposed to lose weight, and instead of losing weight, she was or she had lost weight. She had lost weight and she was approved for her surgery, and in two days. Yeah, in two days, she put on 14 pounds because she was making this tater tot casserole because she was, like, patting herself on the back and, you know, this is, I'm not going to be able to eat this again after my surgery, so I'm going to eat a ton of it. She, would, she made, like, this giant casserole dish filled with tater tots and cheese and and, like, soup and, like, it, it looked like vomit, to be honest with you. Um, I was kind of sold on the tater tots and cheese part. I was like, oh yeah, I can see why <laughs> it's potatoes and cheese. I would probably eat the shit of that too. Uh, but then she had all this other shit and it just was a vomit. But anyways, in, in two days she put on 14 pounds. Um, so that was, I, I was angry at that. Anyways, I don't want this to be the, uh, the 600 pound review show, but, um, I just want to let you guys know kind of where my mind's been and what I've been kind of keeping up to. Um, and the reason why I'm I'm gonna jump on this uh, this calorie restriction because that's that's what these these guys go on um, uh, for the pre op because uh, the whole thing the doctor doctor uh, now Wardian I think his name is I might have messed that up a bit um, but he puts them on twelve hundred calorie uh, diets for like a month or two months to get them to lose between 40 and 60 pounds for before their surgery. Now I'm not going to have a surgery after this. Um, I just want to get under 300. Um, cause I need my body to work better. Uh, I've been off, I've been off work for a number of months. Um, and the, the one, the one job that I, I mean, I, I I'm a, I'm a union member with IATSE. Uh, which is a film union here in Toronto. Um, and 
that's uh, when my when my other work that I do with uh, like DP and producing and stuff. When that's not busy, I go and uh, do union work. But because my weight's got so out of control, I can't um, I can't physically work. Um, I mean, I can, um, but I can't make it through an entire day because you know a day on set um, is going to require me to be on my feet between. 15 to 16 hours a day um, up and down ladders up and down trucks uh, carrying heavy equipment um, crawling on, like not crawling on the floor but you know getting on my hands and knees sometimes plugging in things running cables um, it is it's physically demanding and at my size it takes a massive massive toll on my body um, to the point that you know usually if if I work a day I'm probably not going to be able to move much for the next day or two afterwards. Um, it's tough kind of admitting that <clears throat> and, you know, telling people where I am. But, yeah, that's that's what's going on is uh, I, I, I can't do that work right now. So um, that's where we've been and that's where my wife is kind of uh, bearing the bearing the load right now um until i'm in a better place so i need i need to get myself in a position where i can start contributing again um yeah so i'm going uh gonna go a little a little crazy for the next little bit and uh go go calorie restricted um the nice thing is some of these like looking at the recipes i'm gonna be eating I got excited looking at uh, a number of the number of the dishes today for breakfast. I had uh, spinach, spinach, uh, yeah, spinach omelet, and two slices of bacon. Um, took a picture of that on the old Instagram, uh, and it was delicious and it was great. Um, but uh, I think my body, because you know, I've been eating Subway, so I've been obviously having. Um, <clears throat> Like flatbreads and stuff, uh, which are about I think one flatbread is like fifty grams of carbs. So more than more than I would obviously want to be on uh, in keto because keto I try to stick around twenty five or less. Um, so I've probably I've probably eaten too many carbohydrates for the last little bit. I mean, it was still my calories have stayed low and stuff, but it's the uh, I haven't been full keto I, I bet you i haven't been in ketosis for a month um so today uh was i mean i'm i'm still recovering uh over the weekend we had to move uh my equipment from uh we're kind of in between offices at the moment so moved all my rental equipment to a storage locker uh and over three days it took um i think it's something like 28 hours of moving over three days um, so my back and my legs and my feet were quite sore and worn out. So even today I'm still kind of, still kind of feeling it. Um, but with all that and then switching to a low car carbohydrate diet today, um, I fell asleep for a few hours there in the afternoon. I think I woke up around five, but, uh, yeah. Um, that's it. I think for today, I don't think I have anything else we want to get into um and this this one's already getting kind of long anyways but um again i am really really appreciative of everybody that's uh, kept kept in touch with me and you know made sure uh made sure i haven't given up on this um i haven't given up not giving up <clears throat> it's been a tough month um i a lot of a lot of why i didn't make many videos over the last month or so is because I was just in such a mm -hmm. shitty place. Um, I mean, I, I, I had said a couple times that, you know, it's, it's be a boring video if I'm just telling like, Oh, I'm doing nothing again. Um, but I, I was also just angry and sad and depressed. And, you know, um, I think, I think if I had recorded that, because the thing is like, I obviously come back and watch these too. 
I think that would have just exacerbated things because I would have just been perpetuating my depression by recording it and then watching it and reabsorbing it. So I just wanted to, you know, not think about it as little as possible, even though it was pretty much the only thing I could do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that's it. You'll notice this, my different setup. I've, I've actually turned my desk a little bit. My dogs are over there now. Um, I, I want to do something pretty with the wall behind me. Cause you know, um, this is my, this is my new little space right here. It's in our bedroom. And, uh, if you actually saw it, maybe I'll take a picture of the setup and I'll post on Instagram. Um, but it's kind of ridiculous that this is in a bedroom because I have a really bright light right above me that's bouncing into a, a white card that is, you can see, if you look at my glasses, you can see the uh, reflection of the white card right in front of me. There's a, one of my lights or a film light strapped to the ceiling that's uh, lighting me to make sure the picture is all nice and pretty. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's it. 348. Down 31 pounds. Four months into this thing. Um, definitely not where I wanted to be. But there's also been a lot of things happen that I didn't anticipate nor would have chosen to have happened. Um, but on we go. And now we make sure that April is a good month and it's an effective month. Um... I would like to say, I would really like to say I would enjoy it if by like May 1st, if I've cracked 300, that'd be good. I would, I would really like that. So that's my goal. My goal is to crack 300 by May 1st. And if I can do that, I want to get to 250 by August. That's it. Okay. I will... I will see you guys very soon. Take care.